So the other day, Samsung released a new good lock module called Routines Plus. And as the name suggests, it's Routines but on steroids. Now, check this. This is happening without me touching the phone. Pretty cool, hey? Now, let's look at how to set it up on your device. Let's get right into this. Option, this is SKMDK, back with another video. So, as I've said, we'll be looking at how to set up the Routines Plus app on your Samsung Galaxy device. Now, if you actually have never used Bixby Routines, which is really the mother to this Routines Plus app, basically it's an automation sort of app where you build routines or actions. Something like, if I get into my car, then I want you to open this app and play this music, right? Or something like, if the Wi-Fi signal on my phone goes at two bars and below, I want you to change to mobile data for a seamless internet connectivity now basically the <laughs> possibilities are endless you can do any sort of action now without wasting any time let's see what routines plus app does to this let's look at it how to set it up if you're lucky in your region where samsung supports good log app you can actually just go to your good log app and you should be able to find routines plus and install it but if you're unlucky like me where samsung doesn't support good log app you'll have to use something like nice log i have a video where i've actually explained how to get this once you have, once you end, you will just have to scroll down and look for Routines Plus. So that's the module that we want to look at today, right? You'll just have to click on the Routines Plus, depending on whether you have installed it or yet or not. It will actually ask you to install it, but I have already installed it. And as I've said, it actually just adds advanced features to Big Spirit Routines, so you can even make more powerful routines. Now, what it actually added is this location-based quick access, run a touch macro, fingerprint to website and then low battery announcement now i'll actually go through all of them the location based quick access basically what it says is you can set up a key that when you press it based also on your location it will open it will do a certain routine or certain action now i found this to be very useful i found a cool application for this where i've now set it to the to say that if i'm at home then i press my volume up button and press and hold it should already request a bolt or an uber for me to my workplace now that's cool because i can use the same button but if i'm at my workplace then it will actually request an uber from my workplace to my home now that's really cool so that's basically what it is you can set up a button action right whatever it was a side button volume down or double tap touch and hold right and then where you're gonna be at right the place where you should be at where you want to activate this and then you select an action or an app right so as i've said for me i've actually set it for bolt to say that when i'm when i'm at my home i can then say press press and hold press and hold the volume up button and it will actually already request a bolt for me to uh to my workplace right it's quite cool then the other one which is more advanced it says run a touch macro now basically what this thing does is it will replicate based on an action that you put in again so if a certain action is or a certain condition is satisfied right i would want you to run a certain like certain touch functions right if i click there you see i can say if it's my wake up time if, if i'm driving and all that i want you to run certain actions now Basically what that, that thing does is it says that it will first record your actions. Then once it's recorded your actions, if you then set up the condition, when the condition is satisfied, it will just replicate your touches on the screen. Now that's pretty cool. Now it has its pros and cons. I've been testing it. The only downside of it is the fact that it always assumes that then your screen should always be set up the same way. What basically what I'm saying is, if I've set up the action with my phone in Bing portrait like this, if I then, if the action starts or the trigger starts with my phone being in landscape, it will try to replicate those touches, but it might actually touch them, replicate them incorrectly because then 
the buttons of where you press are not actually the same place anymore. And also, I've also seen that with my Fold 2, since it's a foldable device, if I close, if, my, if, if it's folded, then it tries to replicate the touches on the folded display and actually does a mistake. So it's pretty cool, but it doesn't actually um, meet the requirements all the time. I'll show you an example of one where I've set it up for my, my situation. When we go to our routines and you'll see what it actually re uh, replicates. And then there's one that says fingerprint to website. Basically, I haven't really found a use case for this, but it's more of like if you know that this website that you actually already always visit and you want to quickly visit it, you can then select based on whatever fingerprint you actually use to unlock your phone, it will go to a certain website. Now, I don't find much use into that unless you really go to a certain website all the time, but that's what it does. So if you want to use your your thumb or your index finger, then whatever fingerprint that you, you use assigned on fingerprint number one, two, three, four, it will then just open that link, right? And then the last one, it's a low battery announcement. Basically what this thing says, it says, if my battery level is before below 10%, then I want you to read aloud that I should that I should charge my phone. Now you can actually change this, right? Now it's, it will say something like, let me just switch on my, Increase my volume. Um, do this. Right. It, Charge your phone. See, it will say something like that, but you can actually put it in your uh, words. Really, uh, in this new um, big speed routines, I don't find much use case for the fingerprint to website and low better announcement. Maybe the fingerprint to website, as I said, if you always have like a link or a website that you always go to, then you might find. Uh, uh, something useful about that. So now to show you what I've actually set up for the run touch macro um, I'll go to my big speed routine. So basically this is just yeah And every time you then set up the routine You'll just have to say whatever you uh, once you've set up everything that you want the trigger as well as what you wanted to do Then you say say save and it will actually save it in your big speed routines now what I also found is once you actually which is quite cool it means that if I I create routines, I can actually even share them via QR code and then someone can actually import those routines, which is quite cool if someone thinks of a nice routine that they would want to share, right? So I'll go to Big Spirit uh, Routines, right? So these are all the routines that I have, right? Um, there's this one, which is, this is like a run touch macro. Basically what it does is see, it's like I say it opens residential and fire Bluetooth. Now, this is, useful for me because the gate that i use to enter my estate you can either use my i can either use my fingerprint or the bluetooth which is quite quicker and probably much more safer with the covid times that we're in so i don't have to use my fingerprint basically what the touch macro that does i've actually set up a macro where it replicated me opening the app and going to bluetooth now this is what this is a macro that i have i can actually even play it now what it will do you'll see what it does is it's gonna go open the app right and then it's gonna touch and go already go to to, to remote and then i can already um access wherever i go so also just a quick one i've actually also created a macro that will send a text to my girlfriend if she tries to text me while i'm at work now let me show you let me play it you'll see what it does it will go to the message app try to set, set up a new message so you see that's the touch search for her name and then write the text that hi i'm currently at work um so this is quite cool but also as i said it's really sort of a hit or miss not really the perfect one because what check what happens if i try to interrupt it let me go to my home screen see then it continues the touches while it's actually not in the right place also if i so the problem is it's trying to sort of only do the touches based on uh, again on the screen uh it doesn't really check whether it's at the right touch but it's just touching on the screen so the problem is then it might, if you're not at the right application or you're trying to actually use your phone and the macro starts, then it's not gonna actually work correctly. The other issue that you will notice, so I think actually the best way would have been to, for Samsung to actually do a countdown to say that your run, run macro is about to start so that then you don't interrupt it. And also maybe put a condition that, because what also what happens if I have closed my screen 
and I'm on the front screen and then the macro starts because I've recorded the macro with my screen open then the macro actually might not actually work correctly because then the touches are not at the exact same place so I think Samsung should probably if to improve this put a countdown when the macro is, is about to start and also maybe to uh, do a check on the conditions or whether the screen orientation is still the same so that it actually doesn't make mistakes right and now finally I'm gonna show you how to actually record a macro so we'll just go back to the routines app right routines plus app then you say run attach macro as I said and then you specify on the condition so I'll just say edit you can specify any condition that you want let's say now we'll just set up one so I can show you in action I'll just say this one should start based on the trigger time so I'll say 21 so now it's been 138 I'll say 2140 right and then I click on here record a new macro I'll just make it go again to messages uh, maybe let me say Samsung notes now uh, Samsung notes I'll say record now I'll just say hi testing right stop save then I just say I'll call it test one save click on it and I say done then say next you can choose a color of an icon for your test macro I'll just say test again I'm trying to test one yeah I'll just say done right so now let's check the time the time is 21 39 you'll see when it gets to 21 40 then it will actually then start the macro because the, I said the trigger should be 21 40 now let's look at it in action let's just give it some time see that it's actually opening and say hi testing so pretty cool eh? I actually feel like this is quite cool I think it would even be cool if you can actually automate this with a home automation app so let's say like something like smart things or home assistants that if you know that your phone will just be staying there all the time in the morning then you make it actually go activate that so just like probably now just automation on another automation so yeah really that's it uh, and as I said, BXP routines is actually quite cool. You can do a whole lot of stuff. I'll just, I'm just going to show you some of the routines that I have on my side. I have this one that takes, as I said, text to Zali, my girlfriend. Then I said, there's Bolt back home, which is the one I talked about. And then there's Watson that says at the gate and also seamless connection. There's really a whole lot of stuff that you can do. You can put a whole lot of conditions as you want, time, the place, whatever. You can really really automate a lot of tasks on your phone so yeah that was it i hope you liked the video and then if you have any comments or if you have any sort of feedback or questions please comment on the comment box and if you like this video please click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet i'll really like i really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel because this really helps me to keep on growing and then until then i'll see you in the next one cheers